for those of you who have been following along, I've been organizing some craft supplies this month. I did my washi tape. I ordered a new cart, which I'm gonna talk about in a future video. I'm probably gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know yet. Um, but this project I've been putting off for so long is to organize like my extra stickers that don't really have a home and need a place to live. They've kind of just been in a pile, you guys, because I usually use sticker books. Um, but these are like extra stickers that need to go somewhere. So what I, I did a lot of research on how to do this and I decided what I would do is create sticker binders. So I ordered these three mini sticker binders. They came in a set on Amazon. They're kind of cute. They're not the cutest. I wanted like cuter ones, but it was very hard to find cute ones that were cheap enough. So these ones, um, you know what? I'll, I'll put the, all the links in the description box. I forget actually how much these ones were, but it, they were pretty reasonable. So I ordered these and then I ordered these sheet protectors and these are supposed to fit these mini binders. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna link all of it in the description box. So if you'd like to purchase anything um, like this, I'd appreciate it if you use my links because I get a very small percentage from Amazon from your purchase, like really small, but every little bit helps. And um, yeah, so everything will be there for you to check out. All right, so I haven't even opened this yet. I don't know how I'm gonna or organize these into binders. Like, I think I'm gonna have each binder be kind of a different thing, but first things first, I'm gonna have to go through these stickers and see, and like put them into categories maybe. I might do one like for extra happy planner stickers and then maybe, I don't know what to do with the other ones. So, but let's take out these and check these out. It looks like they will fit nicely and let's just see if they will fit the happy planner sheets. I mean, they, they come out a little bit from the top, but that's not the worst thing in the world. Let's open it and make sure they fit before I start this whole project because that would suck if I went through the whole thing and then the stickers did not fit in the binder. So let's just see how it is. Um, I'm gonna just move these other two out of the way here. All right, that does fit really nicely. And these are pretty nice, these feel pretty like thick. They're not, like I didn't skimp on these sheet protectors. I read a lot of reviews because I didn't wanna get ones that were too flimsy because then it's like they stick together and they're like, ripping and falling apart. I wanted to make sure it's something that's gonna last me a long time. So I just wanna put one of these in so I can see what it would be like. Um, what I could do is like trim down a little bit, but it doesn't really bother me. It's like right to the top of the binder. It's not like it's like all gonna be sticking out. So I think I'm okay with that. But I'm, like I said, I may end up just trimming the very edge so that it's a little more flush. All right, but the first thing I'm gonna do, like I said, is go through these stickers and just kind of see what I've got and what kind of categories I need to make. Um, let's put all the, like, I know, I don't know even why I have these extra heavy planner sheets, I guess. Some of them I pulled out because I was gonna make separate books, like with the stickers, and then I was like, no. I ended up like, like what am I, I was gonna take apart all my sticker books. That was back when I maybe had like 40 or 50 books. Now I have like 150, there's no way. So I am going to just, some of them I took out for that. Other, um, some people have sent to me, some have fallen out on their own. So we'll put Happy Planner here. Then we've got like, smaller stickers here that I got from like different places like Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Why is a folder in there? I'm gonna find things in here that don't belong. <laughs> so, and then there's going, then there's like Etsy stickers and stuff. So we'll put those there. And again, I'm not sure about these categories. 
but let's just see what we've got going on. I have a whole Erin Condren book there. We're not gonna put that in there. This we're not gonna put in there. This one I think I'll keep separate too. I think this this these binders are just gonna be for the extra sheets that I have, if that makes sense. And I always forget like that I even have these sheets, so I don't use them. I don't know if you guys can see everything. Um, so I don't use them because I, I don't even remember that they exist, honestly, most of the time. So let's fix that though. I'm gonna pull this apart. This was originally to go in your planner, but I'm not gonna put it in any planner. So, uh-oh, this does not pull apart very well. I'm gonna do it anyway. many happy planner stickers are you surprised I am not okay I guess I'll just fast forward the rest of this so that you don't aren't bored with me just talking about the sticker sheets that I have okay I know I have more stickers but these are um, these are the ones I found for now. I'm sure I have more of them, but you can see I have mostly Happy Planner stuff. Oh, you know what? I do have more. Where are those kit? I have a couple kits that I wanted to get out. Where are they? All right, I will find them. But the first thing I'm going to do, I think, is put together this book of Happy Planner stickers because, like I said, I have the most of these. So I'm going to just put this in one big binder. And let's see, I think I'll use pink for Happy Planner. And I'll label these in a little bit. Now I'm going to organize these into like different sections. Some are going to be pictures and some are going to be quotes and some are going to be like date ones like this. So let's try, see what we can do. Okay, so here I have all the quote stickers and I'm gonna start with all of those. And of course I put these in upside down, so let's go ahead and flip them around so that we can do this the right way. I'm gonna consolidate some of these quotes because I have some sheets that are like kind of empty like this one. So I'm gonna put a couple of these together so I don't waste space in my sticker book. When I consolidate these stickers, I'm pulling up the backing so that it's gonna make it easier to move them around on the page and find space for the other things that I'm putting on there. Don't you love this sticker? I must have cut this. It just says, life is so. But I'll use it. I'll use it and I'll put it next to like something like wonderful, right? You can always combine like little quotes and like just switch them up and take one word and add it to another quote if you want. That's always an option. Since this one's cut out all weird, I'm gonna take the stickers off of this sheet, put them on this empty sheet, cause they're not gonna fit here, and then combine them with some other stuff. I know, this is so very interesting, isn't it? <laughs>
Okay, so now I have all the quote pages in here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the next category, which is like icons and checklists. And now we have like date stickers and then food. Looks like these are gonna have to stick up out of the book a little bit because I don't have room to cut on the edges. Okay, now we have um, the rest. They're just like miscellaneous and pictures and stuff. So I'm just gonna try to like put them together. Like these two match, so I'll try to put these together. So those are the Happy Planner stickers I have so far. I know I'm gonna find more. Um, you can see I, I predicted like just right, which was pretty awesome. So now I what I might do actually is like label these and put like little, maybe I'll do that with like these kind of labels. Wait, not those ones. There's like in the teacher sticker book, they have labels um, that are like tabs. And I can label these like quotes and icons and recipe and like regular stickers and stuff like that. So I may do that. But for now, like I know where things are. There's not that many here. But this is good. Okay, so I'm also probably gonna like, well, some of those are really tall, but that's all right, I'll live with it. I'm also probably gonna label some of these um, binders or all of the binders maybe I'll do it on the side because I'm probably gonna put these on my shelf over here and the one thing I wanted to mention was you could see like as I was cutting the tops of these to try to fit them in um, you can see how like easy it is once you pull the backing off to move the stickers around on the page and make more room for other stickers so it's like a good way to consolidate your stickers sometimes okay let's move on to the second book, we will use this color and I might only need two sticker books for now because these two colors match my, my craft room and I may not even need the purple one for now, but let's see. I'm gonna try to fit as many stickers as I can into this binder. Okay, I just found a whole pile of more planner stickers. So we are gonna continue. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is, since I use a lot of Happy Planner sticker books, um, I don't have as many loose stickers. So keep that in mind when you're, you know, you're trying to decide what kind of sticker storage system to use for you. I don't have as many as some people, and I know that if you have more, you're gonna need either more binders or a different way to store them. But, um, however, my collection is growing. So, but these seem to fit a lot. Like, I think that this will work for a while for me before I have to switch or get more binders. So just keep that in mind. Oh, and I found more of these, so I've gotta put these in the other book. So some of these are gonna be like kits. So this is a Planny Thing kit. I have some Whimsy Luck kits. Um, I have a Planners Anonymous kit. So I am gonna put, I think, a kit, the kits all together. I don't use a lot of kits, so I think that it'll be easy for me because it's just a few of them. I guess if you have a lot, it'll probably be really thick. 
And I'm not sure that's the best way to store kits. So don't like get upset <laughs> when you're like, how, you don't know how to store kits, Mary Ellen? Like, no, I don't because I don't use kits. So what I'm going to do is put the whole kit together. But let me make sure I don't have other stickers first before I start putting kits in there. I think I'll put the kits in the back. Um, so I'm just grabbing like all my other stuff here. I'm putting these in with this because this is all like alcohol. This is like wine stuff and there's beer there. So that just makes sense to me. Now I have my Whimsy Lux stickers. I'm gonna place these. I know I just said I was gonna put my kits in the back. Actually, let me take this out. I'm gonna put, yeah, hold on. Let me, I'm, I'm confusing myself. I'm gonna put some more like single sticker sheets in before I put any kits in, so. Let's take this out. These are really cute, aren't they? I need to use these. So I always forget that I have them. Now maybe I won't. Really, really cute. These I got like when I first started planning. Like, like the first thing I bought. And I've only used five of them, but they are useful. Okay, so let's see. I've got the stickers from Caliber Plan, and it doesn't look like they're gonna fit. So I can either cut them in half, I'll put them in that way, chop them up, or store them somewhere else. I think chopping them up might be a better idea just because like I'd kind of like to have everything in here. So let's stick this in. These are really cute. Somebody sent these to me for free like way back when I started planning. I think I won like a giveaway or something. This very crafty mama. She also made this that I got at the same time. Runs on coffee and cuss words. I don't say cuss, I say curse, but you know, it's pretty funny. Stick that in there. I'm gonna stick these two together for no other reason than that other than they're long and they they're like by themselves. All right, so let's see. I think I'm down to kits now, I think. So let's put in this planner kit. Well, I do have these. What am I gonna do with these things? This is tricky. I could fold it. Are you all cringing right now? I'm gonna fold it. I know that's Happy Planner, but I'm sticking it in here. Don't cringe, don't cringe. All right, I have a kit from Planner Kate here. I'm just gonna stick it together. Oh, that fits perfectly actually. So if you have um, Planner Kate kits, this is like, this sheet protector is like the perfect size. It's like fits just perfectly, I like that. That's satisfying. This is a kit from Planny Thing. I'm just gonna stick all these in there. And then we have my Whimsy Lux stickers from my friend Marielle. If you have not checked out Whimsy Lux on Etsy, her stickers are gorgeous. So be sure to check those out. I'm gonna place those all together here. And I'm gonna put, I should put my name. This is my name sticker from Alicia Michelle XO. Then we have some Proud Sticker Designs boxes that she sent to me. Check her out, check Alicia out, check everybody out. You know, support 
small businesses. I think it's important. Um, okay, this is a surprise, surprise, surprise um, sticker video that I did. So this is a kit and these are really cute. So I'm gonna put these together. Did that video last year. I should use these again. They're really cute. It's like me, see? That's supposed to be me. <laughs> All right. Um, if you want, well, I don't think this is gonna fit. If you wanna know more about surprise boxes, you can go to my video where it says S-U-R-P-R-Z. So just search S-U-R-P-R-Z planning with Bumble and you will find it. I think I have to make this one skinnier. Put these on top so I remember what they are. Okay, there's that kit. We're getting there, folks. We are getting there. Should I cut up the Kelva Plan stickers? Oh, or store them somewhere else? I just don't know what to do yet. So we're gonna hold off. We're gonna put this one in, that wine one. That's a Planners Anonymous. Now we're gonna do another Planners Anonymous and this is their Go Wild kit. Look how cute this is. A subscriber sent these to me and oh my gosh, adorable, right? I have a feeling some of it might say 2020 on it. I don't know, but maybe not. <coughs> we are going to go wild in 2021, but I can still use these. These are like the cutest stickers I've ever seen. Honestly, they are so cute. And they even have like the names of the speakers and their little like girl things for them. Look, there's Stephanie Fleming. How cute is that? I love it. I'm gonna take this out. This is just, ugh, I can't. All right, so since I have this Go Wild kit in here, I'm also gonna take the Go Wild stickers from my friend, according to Ali. You guys may know her. Aren't these so cute? Look at this, so cute. Wait, is this the, yes, yeah, this is a sticker. I have the magnet on my refrigerator. Um, love it, right? Love, love, love. Look at that cup, that background, so cute. So I'm gonna stick these. In fact, I'm gonna put that one on top because that's my fave. I'm gonna stick these behind the other Go Wild stuff so that it's kind of all together. All right, now I have a Coco Daisy kit. Again, love. And you guys know I was the guest designer. Well, you probably know. I was the guest designer for January and they sent me this kit and it's so, so, so cute. So cute. Um. Okay, almost done. I have these sparkly letter stickers and I have this. What did I decide on this? Um, I think I'm gonna hold off on these and maybe find another storage solution for these because I hate the thought of cutting them up. Um, I'm going to stick these letter stickers back here. Okay. So I know I have more stickers that I will find, but here are the stickers now all in a book, all easy for me to access. I can see everything and this makes me happy. So I'm not gonna need three books for now. I'm gonna keep it at two, but let's see. Should I label the outsides? Or should I label the covers? What should I do? Um, hmm, if I put them on my shelf, 
I'm gonna want to see that. But I also like the look of it not with nothing there. It's like cleaner looking. So I think I'm gonna put it on the front. So let's get some letter stickers, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna take these letters out of the fun alphabet sticker book and I'm gonna put them on a ruler cause that's how I roll. I'm gonna spell out Happy Planner so that it's kind of just gonna be easy for me to center it on there. And we will just, I don't know what I'm gonna label the other one though. I was thinking about that. I'm like, do I even want to label the other sticker book? Or do I leave it blank until, cause I'm gonna know. Honestly, I'm gonna know what both of these are. I'm not even sure why I'm labeling the Happy Planner one. Just because I love letter stickers, I guess, and I love to label stuff. <laughs> That's probably the only reason. So, you know, sue me, what can I say? I think we all like letter stickers and we all like to label things. If you're a planner, you're also probably a labeler, right? Am I right? That usually that's the case. I think I need to move that L up a little bit. I also could have just done HP and saved some of these letter stickers for something else. But I'm all extra. All right, happy planner, woohoo! Let's put it on the white part. Put it down like that so that it's, I kind of like it like that better, okay. So see, so you can move it around and center it where you want it when you do this. And just kind of hold it all down there. Ooh, how satisfying is that? Look at that. I've got my happy pen of stickers in a binder. Yes, I do. And I could write other on here, but that's so like not satisfying. So I'm not gonna write anything on that one. That's my prerogative. Sorry if that makes you crazy. <laughs> all right, so I hope this video was helpful. Um, like I said, all the links to everything will be in the description box. Um, and I will like, just let me know. I don't know why I said I will. Let me know in the comments down below how you organize your stickers and if you are considering this method, I would love to hear how it works for you. I'm just gonna stick these babies on my shelf and feel satisfied knowing that they're all organized for now and then hopefully I can keep up with it when I add more stickers or when I find the rest of my stickers because I know there's more. Um, and I, like I said, I'm ordering a new cart for all my supplies so you guys wait and see I'm gonna be organized as anything for 2020. And uh, you know, my word of the year is peace. So that's all helping. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day, a wonderful week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.